Did you know by the year 2050, it is estimated that nearly 1 million Singaporeans will have diabetes? I'm Dr. Ben Ng, and for today, I'm going to be talking about hormones that are produced in our gut and how our gut health affects our overall health. Insulin is a hormone produced by our gut and it helps to regulate our blood sugars. As we age, insulin levels can fall, leading to a rise in blood sugar levels. Of course, high blood sugars can lead to diabetes, which can lead to serious damage of the heart, blood vessels, eyes, kidneys, nerves, and even amputation. As sugar is present in almost everything that we eat, many of us are actually consuming excessive amounts of sugar without even knowing it. Therefore, the first step is to cut down on sugar intake and start to eat healthily. Artificial or intense sweeteners should not be used as a replacement for sugar. They treat the body into thinking it has consumed fewer calories, leading to overeating. According to the World Health Organization, they can also lead to digestive issues, heart attacks, stroke, and even diabetes. Serotonin is a hormone that's also produced in the gut, which influences our mood, sleep, and appetite. Symptoms of low serotonin may include mood changes, feelings of depression or anxiety, and difficulty with functions such as sleep and memory. Yes, the gut and brain are connected through a network of neurons, hormones, and chemicals. Maintaining a healthy balance gut bacteria can positively affect our levels of serotonin, leading to a better quality of life. Firstly, look after your gut through a balanced diet, including foods or drinks rich in probiotics and prebiotics. Look for less sugar options and exercise regularly. Get 7-9 to nine hours of sleep every night and remember to monitor your health. 